So then the same person, how long do you shake the fermenter after adding the yeast? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah, um, is. There is, oh God, I should know this. Uh, I remember Zymergy, um, which uh, I'll, the little plug for Zymergy, or if you're Magazine. not, be, become an AHA member uh, because every week or every month you'll get, or it's not every month, but you'll get Zymergy, the magazine. But they did this study of how long it takes. And I want to say it was like, they did how long it takes versus, you know, what, uh, but two to three minutes, it doesn't take a ton of time uh, to get that oxygen in there. Um, I agree it's, it's not, yeah, it's not that much time. They did uh, an aquarium pump versus shaking versus uh, direct oxygen um, injection. Um, but it, it doesn't take a long time. Uh, you know, no more than five minutes. I don't think you, you can over oxygenate. That is a thing, but by shaking it, you're never going to reach that point. So even if you're into 10 minutes, you're okay. But you know, I, I usually do it for a couple minutes to mix the yeast in there, get the oxygen in. Um, you know, no more than five minutes, I think, is, is, is sufficient. Thank you.